hello everybody! Hello! Good Welcome. news! <laughs> Welcome to your satisfying crunch. Uh, t t <laughs> today we're, uh, we're going to be watching uh, some more of the brilliant, uh, underrated, and um, underappreciated show No Evil penned by Betsy Lee, or Warlord of Noodles. Right now we're on episode 11. Now there's 18 out total, supposedly 19 by the end of this month, but you know how the animation process goes, so, you right. know, fingers crossed, but no promises. Right. Uh, well, so. according, according to Betsy Lee's Twitter, uh, the uh, 19th episode was released for Patreons. Oh, there you nice. go. So, so it's already out. So we've got it out YouTube there. Soon. It will be on YouTube soon. Uh, we will hopefully get there. Uh, very soon as well. In the meantime, uh, we want to do uh, one of the episodes today. This is a short one, so we're going to just kind of knock it out. Um, so far, we've seen the uh, the spread of the the black goo. Uh, we've seen the uh, the gang of spirits. We've been introduced to the characters, and we know that they're spirits. We know that they have human forms, so they're transformed humans at some point possibly um we're not sure what that process is yet or do you have any insight into that um no no okay I... uh, but we know that there are towns uh and that towns are sometimes uh mccoy and hatfield, McCoy and hatfield the the classic dispute of the Hatfields and the McCoys. So I, I think that's kind of a cute little twist on that to have those be the towns. And um, without further ado, I'm Brock. I'm Ash. And I'm Misty. And when we're not trying to catch them all, we're watching, we're watching No, no Evil. Ooh. I probably should have queued this up. Probably, but that's because okay. We can watch we the TV a, sport. Everyone is a Bahas Is a Bahas? 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 Lufthansa. Okay, fly Lufthansa Airlines. There you go. Ooh, lighting up clouds. It's the shadow people, they're back. Come on, yeah. Listen, Chief. We all know you have some folks with the black ick on them. We got a cure if you'll let us. You ain't a plot of Hatfield! Why'd you bring him then? <laughs> he wants to help. <laughs> He's a spirit of Hatfield! That ain't how spirits work. They ain't <laughs> loyal to a town just because they live near it. Amarok was. He protected this town from Hatfield until him and the rest of you chased him off. This isn't about some asinine grudge. This is about your sick. You come one step into town, we'll take on the lot of you. You boorish? Let it go, Wiki. You can't heal him, and that's that. Mayn't is different than can't. No, I mean can't. <laughs> Corn just ran off. Can't do this without him. How do we heal the sick of McCoy? Any ideas? Oh, just leave them alone. If they don't want our help, they don't want our help. We'll just let them expire? They don't know any better. I have no reason to force them to- Hold it! Is the chief family sick? Nope. Did we hear from anyone else? No. Well then he's not the one we should be talking to, eh? I do like that <laughs> I like how Calamity uses her turning, her turning for her limbs and her tail. Yeah. Oh! And so he can throw yeah. his eyes up and see around. Ah, interesting. <laughs> Hi. Ah. It's okay. We won't keep you long. Just wondering if you want us to heal your kid.
Can her eyes pop out too? I don't think I'll so. I'll not let you take my village! <laughs> I knew you weren't on the level. Oh yeah. I will rule you all with an iron fork. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I will rule you all with an iron fork. Pay attention, Clevity. Hold on. You're on Hatfield's side, but it won't work, even with the help of the spirits. Hatfield can never take us down. Is that? Oh, it's pumpkin. Yeah. Kitty making pumpkin stuff. Oh, speaking of pumpkins. Ooh, spooky. Right. Okay, so I'm confused. What happened in the village? Okay, so what happened in the village was they came to offer to help the sick. Yeah, but and no, 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 they, I got that. But did they help them or not? Because they did. They did. So okay. while while calamity and yeah, they Cola were distracting them, were but distracting it didn't show them. us actually helping no, them. So I couldn't tell yeah. whether or not she accepted well, or refused. You saw corn like slide into the house, right? Yeah. Okay. So and then when Ichabod was waving, okay, that, that was so uh, we're done, okay. and then they gotcha. they kind of met up on the on the road. All right. Well, there you go. Um, so I think this is one of those uh, things where you, you really have a lot of layers in here mm -hmm. where your politics and your personal feelings get in the way of what's really important for you, healing your sick, and because of this perception of the spirits being uh, associated with Hatfield, they're the people of McCoy are being, uh, uh, you know, are refusing their help. And there's also hinting here to a schism inside the spirit community between Hui, 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 Hui and Hui. Uh, somebody else, not Huey, it's Hui. Hui. Um, Amarok? Amarok. So I don't think we've seen Amarok. I know we haven't seen Amarok yet. Not yet. Uh, but that's uh, that's also uh, well in uh, episode two. Right, we did see him in episode two. Right, he's he's one of the, the characters that's in there, and mm -hmm. I, I think he's either in the next episode or the episode after that, um, which we're going to watch really soon. Right, so I'll say this, I'm a little confused because this episode didn't go anywhere. It established that there's a feud between McCoy and Hatfield, but it didn't do anything with any of the information it gave us. We went into the town, we said, okay, we'll have to sneak into the town. They snuck into the town and then they left. Right, well it did, it did two important things, none of which were really part of the story there. Uh, the first one is it established the animosity yeah. between Hatfield and McCoy. And the second thing that it did is it established animosity between the group of spirits and so yeah, this it, other character. It and gives Amaro. us it gives you information, but there's, but there's no story. Is, yeah, this episode wasn't a story. No, that's there, I would say you're yeah. absolutely so right. So I was I was feeling a little bit the lost because I was expecting I was expecting a beginning, middle, end, and there was good stuff in there, but it was you know like watching a world of remnant. It seemed like there, there could have been more going on, and yeah. it didn't need to be just telling me straight that. Yeah, it, this is uh, this is I think where the, uh, the the weakness of this series is that because it's a side project and uh, it's not. I, I my understanding, and I could be wrong on this. Uh, my understanding is that she uh, treats this as just kind of a side project, labor of love kind of thing, and so. An episode like this, which is an establishing episode, similar to the song, mm -hmm. um, 
Uh, late, it was, what, which one was the... Simple melody. Simple. Ah, yeah. um, and things like that where they're, they're just establishing characters and facts. When they could have been rolled into a longer episode. Well, um, I mean, we did hear, we have gotten little hints at the McCoy Hatfield mm -hmm. feud before now. Like when the mice came to yes. steal all the food. Yeah. But you know, with this, steal this is a, uh, this is one person. Um, and hand-done animation is intensive. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this is probably thousands and thousands of frames for this right. this minute. You know, I would say there's at least a thousand frames in these four minutes that right. you have to that you have to animate and color all by hand. And then voice act, lip sync. And so, you know, I'm not I'm not hugely disappointed that it's not a regular series of 12-minute episodes. Yeah. Because it is incredibly difficult to produce something like that. All right. And I think um, a good thing with the not having like a specific time limit, it's not like every time the episode is 11 minutes or 22 minutes, is that um, you can explore all the different stories and not just the ones that have enough in them to fill up an entire 12 right. minutes. Yeah. Right. All right. Well, we'll uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up, and we'll see you next time. Until then, I'm Brock. I'm Ash. And isn't that color a little bright for 